One year ago, I started a project called Plain Text Doll. The original project was written in Python. I recently revived the project and was able to record this clip of beautiful music. Now here's my bumbling tour of the code. Hello, apologies in advance for bad audio quality. I wanted to share that I've revived the Plain Text Doll project and if you open it up, this is what we have. I've replaced the front end with Next.js, so instead of using raw JavaScript, it's actually using a complete Next.js application here. So we have React at our disposal and the power of Tari to reach into the system as well. So pretty exciting. And these buttons basically just hook in and invoke a procedure inside of Rust. So with heavy use of ChatGPT, I've been able to make a few things happen. First, I restored that old project picker. That will open a window and check it. Also, I've done a little test that creates a thread when you click the button so that we can do some background work. And you can play a sound like that. It's probably really loud. But um, yeah, the big one is uh, you can record. And what I've done here is I've also changed the input device to my piano here, which has its own input device that you may or may not be able to hear. Anyway, uh, so I selected that device, I just hard-coded index 16, because at this moment it just happens to be the 16th device connected to my computer. And uh, I'm not sure why this is here twice. Uh, anyway, so the code uh, basically just records for three seconds and then stops. So it doesn't use any threading, so everything locks up when you click on record. But I still think it's... Uh, better than nothing, so I'm going to change this to 10 seconds real quick. Uh, I'll change it to 5. 5 should be good. So I'm just going to say record for 5 seconds. And on top of it all, it actually crashes in addition to, uh, to recording. So that's great. There's a lot of room for improvement here, but I'm excited because I've dusted off the weeds on this uh, Play Text Doll project, and I look forward to actually making it something that people can make music with. And I think this is probably the most important part, is just getting it able to record things. So. We'll see uh, if it ever builds, I will show. And we'll record a, a quick five second audio clip. And then tomorrow, maybe we can add some multi, uh, multi uh, track recording tomorrow or eventually. But I think it, it could be really exciting. I don't know if music really belongs on this channel. I've been debating it in my head for a while, but maybe I can also try making music on here. I think I'm probably better at programming than I am at music. I'm not the best musician but we can we can try it i like it so maybe we can do it but either way let's record the first little official five second bit of audio here that i'm gonna post somehow somewhere and uh and we'll see what it does so i'll hit record um i think it already crashed let's see if it recorded anything no that was that was an old recording let's uh i guess i can let it build again and we can try one more time and that'll be my music for today it does seem to crash every other time, so I guess I can take that 50% of the time it works. Uh, not bad. I think it's building. I'm just going to go ahead and restart this whole thing. There we go. Really slow for some reason. Okay, I'm going to hit record, and uh, I'll just play some chords. Ooh, it crashed. Didn't work. I wonder why. Good enough for today. You heard before I started, I recorded something at least, so... Uh, yeah, I'll call this. <laughs> That's the MVP of the uh, of the doll. Really useful. Really useful. That's a beautiful piece. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you.